Hi Taurus, this is self-discovery support and this is going to be your message. Today we're using the Lenormand deck and also we're going to look at two sides. So, also, yeah, I think I forgot that. So sun, moon, rising, Venus. And especially if you have north node or south node in Taurus, it's going to be important for you to check out this message all right so let's go what's happening for taurus right now Ooh, taurus okay so, all right, let me just check this deck. All right, so ring, heart, tree is what you have. These are some solid, solid cards. It's like, there's like a commitment or a relationship that it does feel like the emotions are there to support it. This is not just like, this is not a relationship at the end of its life cycle or even well it's potentially at the beginning as well but not necessarily it could feel like you, there is a commitment or some kind of bond that's growing with someone there is the emotion to back it up as well and it does feel like it's it's taking root essentially is how i would describe this it's like it's healthy, it's expansive, but you know, with the, um, let me just show you these cards, the man and the masks and the compass, it could, f it feels to me that you don't really trust it. I don't know if it's that you don't trust the person because I feel like the emotion is growing. The emotions are there, but it feels like you, you maybe don't trust the direction. And with the coffin here and the towel, maybe you're feeling a little bit like um, someone's pulling away. But I don't think that's the case. You know, I want to say something, Taurus. Sometimes people pull away to think. Depends on who you're dealing with. Like, um, this makes me think about just what I'm seeing. It feels like Virgo energy, um, definitely, as... The first thing I can think of could be Scorpio as well, but that and cancel a type of like going inward to kind of think about something Pisces as well. Um, yeah, so you could be dealing with a fellow Earth or what Earth sign or a water sign Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it does feel like you know something is deepening growing and uh, that's just it you know it feels like the amazingness that people wait for in readings i think you feel like um maybe commitment could be close to your mind if you haven't taken that plunge already but it's just like you're in that state of mind yeah okay so let me pull an extra card here okay so there's some more information all right so you had felt that maybe um commitment or you had you either had blocked um, any kind of relationship energy you're just maybe you're thinking i don't want to be involved with that right now or this particular situation felt blocked but it feels like some kind of um somebody reaches out there's a little bit of exchange of um words messages and it could even be receiving like a text message or something like that and that kind of shifts everything it's a message which shows like care affection maybe that's even from you and 
it's like you're wanting to see things grow but it i don't know if you feel like you can trust it which is you know what came out already the clouds were here a lot so it i think i see a lot of should i trust this i don't know if i can trust this this points to past hurt past um pain that needs to be healed you know when we are in a new thing and it you don't know if you can trust it continually um even after affirmative communication um either that or there's a history with this person and so it's something you have to work through i guess um let's look at the other person here Alright, this person is telling me that they felt a little bit frustrated because um, there's it felt like things weren't really meshing or connecting, which, you know, that follows when you think about the fact that you haven't been really sure about this person, Taurus, you know, sh can I trust this? It's going to produce, um, it's, it's going to be picked up, you know, and that person is going to feel like, I'm trying to make a connection here I'm trying to come towards but you know it's not quite working and I'm not saying that anyone's doing this deliberately but often sometimes when we have like fears and things like that it will show up in this way which we don't intend we don't we're not thinking about how we come across you're just kind of thinking about um the issue that you're dealing with all right but there is um the birds and dice all right it feels like this person is thinking that you know should we talk you know i'm gonna should i take a chance here to talk with taurus um because we have had some difficulties and maybe it's been difficult to usher in a new phase maybe this person is wanting to talk about this the issues that you all have had so you know saying you have a past with this person it does feel like that could be the case all right so let me pull an advice card for you all right it's the you know it's the bridge card it's connecting finding ways to connect to each other it can be small ways but with the house it's going to be necessary for you to start to paint or see this person as a safe person. It's a way to, you have to find ways to bring them into your kind of, on, into your world, into your perspective, to, to have that understanding. That's the word. The man, woman, and the house is here because it does feel like there is great potential here. You know, and there's potential for deepening this. There's potential for also making this healthy and stronger. But you do that connection has to be on both sides. And if you know that you have been pushing back and blocking, then you have to find ways to um, reverse that in a way, Taurus. So this is your message. Take care and wishing you all the best.